going. We are now live. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Beer Analysis Hi, 101. Hi, Greg. With your host, Maxwell Star and Greg. Now let's yeah. we are gonna do tonight a beer that Greg actually sent me. This is a winter beer taken in like well, the last weekend of spring. So it's technically still spring until what? Today's the 16th. So yeah, Monday. Monday is when summer starts. I can't wait. Like, I know it's warm in summer, but I love like love it getting out better in the summer than in the winter. But for one last time, we will take a look at a winter beer here. So Great Lakes Brewery made this beautiful Canadian cabin maple syrup barrel-aged imperial stout. I'll go into the details of what that means here in a second. So first and foremost, let's look at who we have with us tonight, starting with the fuzz, Mr. Scott. Oh, he's so fuzzy. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so now people kind of understand why they call me the fuzz. He fuzzed me long hey, time. Because you fuzzed yourself long time. You actually cut your hair. Now, did you do that yourself, or did you uh, did you get somebody else to do it? No, I, I, I have guys. I have guys. You have guys. I have people. It's professional. I, I know a guy who knows a guy. No names. The guy. It's the guy who did my hair for my wedding. But I, oh, that guy. Uh, Mike Rogers. No. Hi. Mike didn't. Mike didn't cut my hair. Mike cut your hair. It, he did. Yes. <laughs> Mike cut your hair. Steve okay. cut my hair. Steve cut your hair. So what did you do? Go to Brick City? Is he still there? Or? No, he, he owns his own shop now. Oh, nice. Nice. I'm going to have to ask you about that. I need Because obviously I need a haircut. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's talk about that later. Let's also go to who else we have with us, which is Lady Lee. Oh, I bring her over. <gasps> Hello. Hey, Lady Lee. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm not doing too bad. I'm surprisingly energetic for doing 20 kilometers on the bike tonight. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, random drop. Uh, random <laughs> drop. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. So, in, uh, of course, last but certainly not. Well, yeah, okay, at least. But, I mean, uh, <laughs> Greg. Hi, how you doing, Greg? You know, I'm surprisingly energetic. You know, I ran 30K. I did 40K biking. You know, I bench for 200 pounds. You know, I'm, I'm surprised I'm so energetic. How are you doing? Jack, Nick? It's the fucking roids, man. You're, you, that sounds good. like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Roided up, Greg. Yeah, your dad did all that while I was on his back. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a, like a master Yoda kind of thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. And Arnold is starting to act up as soon as we're as soon as I'm chatting. Arnold, you're supposed to be tired. We took you for a long walk, buddy. Such a big surprise. You're not like Nick who can handle 20k. Mm -hmm. well, all right, so I'm good, Nick. I'm I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing okay. I already asked that. All right. So oh, before I run yeah, out of energy, I'm like good. before I start to crash, I'm like, oh, I'm start to go. Okay. Maybe I am tired. Um, uh, okay. So let's go to the history of this beer before we get down to the comments. Let's say, uh, since we cover GLB so much, like literally so much, I forget exactly how many beers and GLBs we've done now, but it's probably 10 many. at this point. Because I mean, beer analysis is. Four years old, literally be four years old in August. So that's quite a that we've been on this thing doing this for for some reason. We keep finding beers that we all can get. So we're still doing this, or like people send me beer that I can I can send around. So uh anyway, so we've covered GLB a lot, so I don't think we need to say too much, other than they're a brewery that's located in Tobico, Ontario. Yeah. Five minutes from uh from Gregory here. Um First founded Gwegui. in Brampton in Gwegui. First founded in Brampton, Ontario in 1987, purchased by the Balut family in 1991 and relocated to the nearby Etobicoke, where it is still run by the family today. Uh, Great Lakes Brewery has produced such classic staples as Devil's Pale Ale 666, Canuck Pale Ale, Robohop IPA, Miami Weiss, and tasty award-winning heavyweights such as Beard of Zeus Barley Wine and Solstice Imperial Stout. So, cabin, uh, Canadian Cabin is an 11.8% ABV, 60 IBU Imperial Stout. First released in March of 2021, Canadian Cabin was barrel-aged for 14 months in bourbon barrels that previously had held maple syrup from uh, Pefferlaw Creek Farms. So, yeah, the interesting thing, thing they do, and I've actually, I've actually, there's a there's a, 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 a maple sugar shack that does it here, though. They, they take... They they actually have like a bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. They'll age the maple maple syrup, and uh, in these bourbon barrels, 
and it's fucking awesome when it comes out. I, I bought a bottle of it one time. It was like so damn good. Like I actually went through it in like uh, in less than a month. <laughs> but it was fucking expensive stuff too. It was like twenty bucks for just a, a small normal size bottle. So not like the usual size bottles that you would pay like like eight dollars for. So it uh, it is kind of expensive, but it was so good. And uh, it is, uh, of course, probably a trend just like in barrel aged imperial stouts there. And so they ended up getting some barrels to barrel age this imperial stout with that uh, with those barrels. So it's probably both a little sweet and uh, and maple. -y. So uh, to read the can here, uh, a crackle emits from the fireplace. Pillowy snow accumulates inside the window. A book in one hand and a beer in the other. But not just any ordinary beer. A beer someone thought about a year ago. Boiled over, stored in barrels with bourbon and Ontario maple syrup, aged to perfection. Worthy of a warming hearts on cold nights, a showpiece. Welcome to Canadian Cabin. Ice. Alrighty, so let's go down in. I doubt, Scott, that you've got a history with this specific beer, but you've had at least a couple of uh, GLBs by this point. I doubt yeah, anyone I, has, has any I have, history. I have had a few GLBs, actually. Yeah. I picked up um, a Canuck, uh, Pale Ale. Yeah. After this. yeah. That's actually really, really good. We, we did that in one week. With the up. I wasn't there, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so I have not had a lot of um, Great Lakes, but I've had a few. I haven't had any problems with them. They've all been pretty good. Um, I have enjoyed uh, maple beers before. So it, it'd be nice to compare against what I've tried before. So I'm, these, not, not sorry, not maple beers, but um, uh, maple syrup beers. Yeah, I have had maple syrup beers before, so um, a little bit of experience in that. So it's, it, it'd be nice to see what Great Lakes can can do in that in that space. Nice. All right. Let's go over to Lee Lee and say, I know you kind of sort of have a little bit of a history with this beer, though. I think I my really history like just goes, <laughs> <laughs> my history goes as far as uh, the beers that we've done with uh, the BA 101. So that's it. So the couple. And I was going to show us to Lee. I have my pineapple glass tonight. So <laughs> <for him. laughs> I'm sure fire. I love that. Shut up, fire. Cool. That, probably, that glass would pair so well with a pizza. It would. It would. It definitely would. You should, so that's that's my history. You should pack that glass. Pack that glass next time. <laughs> if you go if you go somewhere east, you know, just pack that. <laughs> if I come visit him, I'll just take it out every time. Just drinking whiskey out the pineapple glass. And, and don't point it out. Just just, just uh, casually. Just, yeah, just casual. Just call it cash. Yeah, because he won't notice that. Just a uh, pineapple there it is anyways yes that's my history <laughs> there's more about pineapples than anything else all right let's go over to greg who probably does have a history with this beer i do i have i've had several of these before um it's all I'll say and i've i believe every person here is i've sent them to and i've i've tainted them all with my musk <laughs> that's what that one is you might want to call it so it'll be a little different than the original product. It's a little sweet. And, uh, yes, I have. Also sweaty. I have had this product before, and it's uh, well. We won't get into what it is, but it is what it is. All right. And of course, bringing it back over to me. What's my history? Well, you obviously, I've had a lot of GLBs. I've been there uh, two, twice, two or three times now. I think I've been to the GLB three times. Once with Greg's wife. Once with the albino rhino, and once with Greg. Fuck you, Greg. <laughs> I'm heck. <laughs> I totally didn't plan that, but still, it was funny. Uh, but yeah, Canadian Cabin, Greg sent me this to, for the first time, so I'm looking forward to trying this. I have had a, a number of other uh, Imperial Stouts from uh, Great Lakes Brewery before. Uh, Solstice was fucking fantastic, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Anyway, so we got a shit ton, literally a shit ton of comments there. Does anybody want to read them? Yeah, I'll read them. All right, let's go, Fuzzy. Uh, where are you starting? Basement? I might as well start at the top where, where Lee was because we didn't Lee? show Okay, I'm going to watch this eat ice cream eaten and no hurt feelings. Mm. <laughs> Good plan. Basement says, uh, hello, Basement. 
Uh, Lee Tendon, Dan, Ice Lee Cream. Tendon, Dan. Ice Cream, the Tendon, Dan. Sorry, these comments are amazing. <laughs> the, uh, the Lee Hardy says, I choose my cup specifically for you, Lee. For you. Uh, the Beer Patrol says, how do I leave this group chat again? Uh, you rage quit. Ah, rage quit. Right. <laughs> and the Russell says, oh, man, can't wait. <laughs> Basement replies with, LOL, laughing out loud. Lol. 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 And the male Lee replies with, Joe, you're a poophead. Now rage quit. <laughs> now rage quit. The uh Popo Jojo Seven. Coors light again. Nice. Better than that's nothing. Good one. Cheers, Popo Joe Seven. Popo Jojo Seven. Uh that's basement. Great. I know if Greg sent me this beer, I would have I would have showed up. Well, <laughs> I know, that's right? That's that's uh beer mail shaming Greg. Mm. Lee Russell, Jamie's a better friend, confirmed. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, basement also says twice is better. Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Hi. I'm enjoying beer, this comment reading. The beer patrol. <laughs> is there a way to turn down the audio level on just Greg? Joe, I am not loud. <laughs> ah, just really loud. <laughs> Bob McCurd. Hello, cheers, Bob McCurd. I'm here for the beard. Bob well, the beard's Bob not here. The beard didn't show up tonight. It's okay. You have better beards. Better beards. Look at that. You, you know Bob the beard. You are, right? Just, I'm just throwing it out there. It's totally you are. <laughs> uh, Lee Russell, he uh, he ain't here, Bob. Lee Russell is uh, also sorry. Um, Bob McCurd. Bob McCurd. The beard has let me down again. Uh, Lee Russell, he failed us all tonight. So sorry. I have no idea how to pronounce that. No idea. I'm not red beard, so I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna think he said tonight. Uh, Bob has replied. So, has your spelling? So has and your spelling. My punctuation is off to. Uh, <laughs> You're adding commas, but there's no commas. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Re uh, Scott Myers is replying. The fuzz is replying. <laughs> you ruffle? You're okay. Thanks. Thanks, Redbeard. Uh, the Beer Patrol, uh, especially me. I'm dying over here, and my last wish was to see Redbeard on BA 101. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Basement. Oh. That's Redbeard's job, guys. Sorry. That's Redbeard's job, guys. Whoa. That's terrible. McPurd. Well, he's not here, so. Talk, 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 talk. Oh my God. This is gonna be so uh, weird. Well, Russell, our relationship is overly. What a betrayal! I think that's a response to the pineapple cup. Yeah, yeah. It, it absolutely is. <laughs> Deal with it. Says, <laughs> Here. This is the best read comments ever. What is there a and, dislike on the video already? And basement. That's not that was not beer mail shaming Greg. Greg's a Greg's a oh, technically uh, technically Greg sent me this for free. I just had to send him a bike seat. That's true. Nick sent me his bike seat. It had his, his taint impression in it. Oh fuck, why did I pay for mine? <laughs> uh, is send something that your butt has touched and Greg will send you free. <laughs> There's plenty that my butt touched. He gets touched. to sniff the saddle. Oh. That, well, yeah, hey, you know what? Listen, listen, that's send, dropping forward. Greg, Greg would totally send you like 24 different beers, all of them from a cellar, if you if you sent him a bicycle seat that had that you sat on there lately. I have my bicycle it, seat that I've had since like what? I was 16? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. No, that's not a teenage not, lady. That's going to make him explode. Yeah, no, no, I, no I, don't want, I don't want the underage I don't want the underage cooter sweat on there. Oh my God. It's filled with more over, of age sweat than underage sweat. Just saying. Okay, well, I, I, I can't can't it. Out. 
<laughs> well, you know, like when like when cops are examining your porn collection, they're like, all right, what's the balance here? Is wow. it legal versus illegal? Did you know we are reviewing beers today? Actually, Bob Hurd said, where's the professional guy with the chick's name? Ashley? Where's the professional guy with the chick's name? I was say, is, like, Ashley, Ashley's texting? No. Oh. Nikki. Nikki, Ashley, Jerry. The professional Jamie, guy. Lee, Jamie. <laughs> Lee, Jamie, Gary. Wait, Lee's, wait, Lee's wait. more commonly we, a guy name than it is a girl name. So. Are we not professional enough well, did, for you? I have known Bob. very few people named Lee, but of the ones I have known, they were all women. So that's all I the can The ones say. I know, mostly the ones yeah, I know are male. Work with a Lee. That was Lee. I know a lot of Lees with like their, like they have two names and the one name, and it has Lee. So that's like usually where I hear Lee. If I hear a girl name, Lee, it's usually Leah, which technically is how my name is spelled, but it's not pronounced that way. I just think you don't know how to pronounce your own Thanks, name. Mom. You don't have to pronounce your own name. We're going to mansplain your name to you. It's my yeah. mom. You have to explain it to my mom. My mom is the one who named me. My mom is the one who put in the birth certificate. And my mom thought it was Lee, not Leah. She realized after. <laughs> <laughs> and she's oh. like, oh, well, <laughs> too late. So, so me and your father are going to get together. Man, or you're supposed, you're supposed to be family. like L-E-A or something like that? That's No, because my mom didn't like the spelling for L-E-I-G-H and L-E-E -E was for a boy. And then she saw uh -huh. L-E-A-H and was like, oh, that's really pretty. And found out later that it was Leah, not Lee. But she wanted Lee. So oh. I am the one with the name that's spelt wrong. So I ruined the, the name Leah. your mom didn't want. Yeah, I ruined Leah for all Leahs. <laughs> Every time I tell Leah that my name is written that way, but it pronounced Lee, they're like, "Yeah, you're that bitch. <laughs> I am that Jamie, bitch." You yeah. my mom. I think we need to make Leah great again. Make Leah great again. Yeah, you're Tina. <laughs> oh, you're Tina. We love you, Tina. Alrighty. Um, Back to beers. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, the next thing would be to go into our final comments, but we're just sitting there shooting the shit. It's only been seven minutes. Right now, there no. I, I, right now, there's a traffic jam in Toronto because there's a llama walking on the highway. <laughs> what? Only in Toronto. Only in, I don't know if you can. That's actually, amazing. Fuck. <laughs> That's amazing. Did it get out of zoo? Out of a zoo or uh, what kind of Mesoamerican sure. shit is this? I, there, I think there's some at the High Park Zoo and there's some at the Metro Toronto Zoo, so they may have gotten out of one of those. See, that's like could common. Like, in, could be like Calgary and have a tiger escape. That's yeah. that was common in my hometown where like a random animal would escape. So you'd have to be careful, but no traffic jam because it was the country, so nobody was driving that road down that road. Hey, Nick, sure did you know that there's a, a llama and alpaca farm in Quispan? There is on um, cool. Chamberlain Road. Nice. I knew there was like a like a llama farm that was out like the back roads to Sussex, like through near Titusville and Upham. Yeah, and I remember them, what, driving by them. one time, and there was a fucking llama. Looked at it over and like fucking llamas. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> llamas pair great with llama. beer. Let's talk about talk about some beer. Let's talk about beer, baby. Let's talk about you and. Let's talk about barrel-aged maple beer. That was actually that. Pretty, really, pretty good. Yeah. Now on iTunes. <laughs> Let's talk about beer. Let's talk about beer. I don't know. You, you got you to find that shit on Bandcamp lately. You got you to put that out in Bandcamp. That reminds me. I want to look up something on Bandcamp. This one time in Bandcamp. It's on one time on Bandcamp. <laughs> I think we all got to get together and have a pineapple orgy. And then film it. <laughs> gross amounts of pineapple and pizza just all over. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? How did I end up here? <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. I just don't know what to do with myself. All right. All right. So. Now what? Uh, uh, to your show, why don't we talk about, we talked about 
what each of our thoughts were, or sorry, our uh, history with we'll it. Were, yeah, usually the, the, the next step is beer. like when we start discussing what we think of the beer and our ratings. Yeah, that's the next part. But we're only 20 minutes into the Thanks, episode. And I'm still not sure what I think about this beer. <laughs> I'm next. All right. So who want, does anybody want to go? Like go, go first? Or? You want me to go? All right, let's uh, let's go bring it over to this mode and let Greg talk. Oh shit! I don't have Ashley's notes to crib off of. <laughs> Come on, Greg, no, you're the only one here to this more than once. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna say, I've I've heard of this described. In fact, I believe it may be somebody who is no longer with us, in, in that they are not on the chat, not in this chat, uh, but they'll be back. They'll be back and better than ever. And I, I think they describe this as like a, a, a more localized version of CBS. I disagree with that. The big thing with that, and before I talk out of my ass, I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm right about this. Uh, and I am right about this. There's no copy in this. And that's the big difference between this and CBS. It, this is actually really smooth. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not the hugest fan of maple syrup. It's a little on the sweet side. This works out. It's really, really smooth. I still get the stout. Um, don't get so much barrel on it, but uh, it is missing something. Like, I feel it's just a little too smooth, a little too sweet. Uh, I would really like to have something to balance it out. Like I feel you could probably even put hot peppers in this beer. It would be really good. Uh, but I think coffee is probably the go-to, and I think that's just what would make this beer like a fucking 10 out of 10 all day. Um as it is, very solid beer. Uh, I don't even remember why I've rated this in the past, but uh, I always tend to like it. And I will say this beer has improved a little bit with age. It kind of got to that rough period where it was kind of good at the beginning, a little rough, and now it's really smoothed out and it's nice. Um, that's because of my magical fridge. Right, Joe? Right? No one else gets that joke, but okay. Um, yeah, so what, what kind of style are we rating this as? Like a flavored stout? Flavored barrel? I'd say like barrel aged stout. Mm. Unfortunately, it's a tough category because that puts you in that puts you in the category of stuff like Prairie Bomb. If you never had that, it's like the best beer ever. Um, uh, CBS, KBS, that kind of thing. It, it puts you in sort of in that same category. Um, honestly, this really needs coffee to just really bump it up to where it could be. So for the style, I'm gonna give this. It's really good, but I'm gonna give this a seven five because honestly, they're just they they fucked up by not just adding something else to this. It's just missing something, and there's just so many better, amazing versions of of this style of a flavored barrel aged stout as a style. Uh, as it is for personal enjoyment, I am going to go with a uh, one more step. Oops. Yeah, just a little too sweet for me. It's very good beer. Not a nine for me though. It's an eight five for me. It's uh, just a little, little too sweet for my taste. Uh, doesn't have anything to balance it out. And uh, yeah, that's really my only problem with this. It, it came out with a new version of this. Added some coffee. Added some pepper. Added something to it to just give it a little bit more balance to the sweetness. Uh, this would easily be a nine, nine, five, ten. I mean, because this is an excellent beer, but it just, for my own taste, it's a little too sweet. And I, I, I'm already biased because I'm not, I don't love maple syrup. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with this. So my, uh, and th and that's including my GLB bias. So you know. Mm. So anyway, but still a solid beer. But it is what it is. I'll go next there, Nico. I was about right. to say, let Scott go first. <laughs> All right, let's go over Scott. Scotty Tiotti. What are you All right, so, you Greg, think? respectfully, I'm going to disagree with the addition of coffee statement. I'm not a big coffee drinker, and uh, I do enjoy maple syrup. So this beer hits a lot of those notes. Um, but I do agree with you. It is missing something. Um, and I don't know what it is. I can't really put my finger on it. Um, it doesn't need coffee because I think coffee, it's not coffee would. I think <laughs> well, yeah, it's not coffee. I think no, no. Here's my statement. I think if we added coffee, it would taste like every other stout, every other maple stout going out there, right? 
it would make it generic. It wouldn't. It wouldn't bring something out that would that it would need. Um, I do think peppers would work in this beer as well. Well, maybe. I don't know if I don't know if this makes sense. But what about a um, like, not a, maybe a pepper, but um, a peppermint. A peppermint <clears throat> might do well in here to make it more crispy. It help the sweetness, though. Mm. It, yeah, it would make it a little bit more sweet. You're right. Um, and the, the feel like the mid really character of, uh, would match. Anyway, go ahead. Um, it uh, it starts and finishes very clean. It's a very clean finishing beer. Um, really doesn't uh, linger very far on it. Um, a little bit of bitterness, but I'm going to also say that it hides the 11% alcohol. Yeah. Actually, really well. Yeah, that's 11.8, right? Yeah. Yeah, 11.8. Yeah. 11.8. Yeah. You cannot yeah. taste the alcohol in this. It's, yeah, it is. Very dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Like and and I'm and I'm glad they have small cans of this, not huge cans. Um, seven barrel series. Um, anyway, can I drink this near a fire? You know what? I'll tell you something. I don't think it's good enough for a cabin winter fire. It's not heavy enough. It needs to be heavier. Mm. It needs to be stoutier. I know it's weird for me to say this, but it needs to be stoutier. I need to only drink two or three of these. Right now, as it is, I can probably drink six and be crunked up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you'd, you'd fall down, hit your head, shit your pants, and have a good night. I know, right? You know, you're from the so, 90s. Like. So, so another, word, another word for Greg having a good time on, on New Year's Eve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you showed up with a six-pack of these, buddy, we'd have a tap. Oh. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> I know it's anyway. out of turn, but the comment here from Ra Radar, like, uh, no, shit. no, you can't drink near a fire. You be in the fire. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, um, Radar. Radar. Style. Okay. So back to, back to, back to style. Uh, and I agree with Greg. It doesn't really fit what I would think this would be a style wise. Um, I think Greg, you gave it a seven five. I also will give it a seven five, with similar but but different opinions in some regards, mm -hmm. right? Um, as for enjoyment, um, I too am going to agree with Greg. An eight five, not quite a yeah. nine. I know this is weird, Greg. Uh, I usually we usually we usually are on opposite ends of the spectrum here. Like usually, you like a little bit different stuff than I, and, and that's what that's what opinions are for, man. Right? That's why we do these things. We're fusing together into the ultimate Nick friend. Oh, oh terrible! <laughs> That's too much friend for Nick. He'll he'll yeah. explode. <laughs> <laughs> too much friend. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna mirror Greg's number, um, but for different reasons. Um, I uh, I do enjoy this beer. Um, Greg sent two of them to Nick. Nick gracefully gave one of them to me. And I hope, uh, Greg, that's what you intended for him to have. Yeah, I was, was going to say, to be fair, Nick asked me to send you an extra one. Excellent. Oh, that's um, sweet. That was so awesome. thank, you, thank you, Nick, and thank you, Greg, for sending it. Uh, I am quite nice. enjoying this beer from Great Lakes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so yeah, you're ready now, Lee. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, geez. <laughs> that's such oh, a Canadian response, Ray. Oh, oh, geez. Geez. oh, geez. Oh, God. <laughs> Definitely be made fun of that for that one. Um, first of all, I just realized my friends in the chat. Hi, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited. I saw his name and I haven't seen him in a while. So I'm wait, 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 wait. Your friend isn't Bob McCurd? Hmm? Your friend isn't Bob McCurd? No, no. I don't know who that is. That is a mystery man <laughs> that none of us have figured out who it is. <laughs> yeah, it's totally, it's totally Bob different. Guys are posted totally a while now. Teku Murray is trying to join the chat. Um, Okay, so the beer. Back to the beer. Uh, yeah, I I want to echo a couple points that were made. Uh, the one with the fact that the eleven point eight percent is hidden really well, because honestly, you have a few sips and it just goes down smooth. Like it's just you cannot tell 
there's that much alcohol in this. And I was noticing, I was like taking a few sips and I was like, Ooh, Ooh, okay. <laughs> I can feel this. Um, it is definitely a, a stronger beer that doesn't have that stronger taste. Um, and then what was mentioned about like the something missing, I have to agree. Cause it seems like the taste is there when you like first have it, but then there's just a kind of mute where you're just missing something like that kind of pizzazz to kind of bring it out. It's not that it's bad. It is a good, like it is good. It goes down smooth. I just, I think there could have been more done with it, but I do get like that sweet taste. I don't know. I've been, I taste like molasses. I know it doesn't have molasses, but I do taste molasses. Um, and I do taste the sweet. And I did find, uh, you would mention it, Scott, uh, but it did taste like kind of thin uh, as compared to like a lot of other stouts. Because um, usually stouts have that heavier, like you're eating something <laughs> instead of like you're just drinking something. And this one I find, yeah, you could drink a bunch of them because it, it goes down like juice. <laughs> but, juice. Uh, <laughs> like the juice. fuck is juice? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a lot like grape drink. Or, yeah. Sorry, grape drink. <laughs> Drank. Drank. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh it's tasty. Don't get me wrong, it is no, tasty. Yeah. Uh it is it does have a nice sweet to it. I do like sweet, but uh I can see I can see for someone who's not into sweet how it could be overly sweet because it's kind of like teetering over that sweetness for me. But uh, I am enjoying it. Um, for style, I'm basically going to repeat them. For style, I'm going to say the same thing, 7.5. It does have a taste of a stout, but I do find that it's a bit thin. Uh, and it's just kind of missing a little bit. But it's, uh, for personal preference, I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with an 8. I am enjoying it, but I'm not like a huge like stout fan in general. But I am enjoying this one. Combo so. breaker. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't know. 8.5 seemed too generous. Like, it's just. Oh, bring the score down. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. You're All fucking right. with the queer. I tried, guys. Debbie Downer. <laughs> it's an attack against the queer community. No, it's not. I love you guys. <laughs> is, is there anything we can mansplain you into giving it a higher score? <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. All right. What did so, I say? Eight? No, it's 7.5. No, I'm eight. joking. <laughs> <It's eight. laughs> All right. So, my, my turn. My, my turn. My turn. My turn. Yay. All right. So, I uh, still got energy. I haven't crashed yet. Uh, so, yes, the oh, first thought thing. I had when I cracked this beer open, took a sip, was it's a little thin. It's like almost like Paul P.A. Bruno. It's like, it's a bit thin. No, I. it's even thinner than that. Like, it actually comes across as. Like it's almost like normal kind of stout body, but low in carbonation, so it's got a touch of syrupiness, but it doesn't really doesn't really fill out well. Mm -hmm. So it's like I think actually was it lately that said it. It almost feels like you should be eating something when you drink a normal barrel aged imperial stout, and you don't get that with this. You get something. Now I will say that it is insanely drinkable, and the alcohol on this is incredibly well masked, like eleven point eight percent. I can't even fucking taste it. All I taste. Is like bourbon barrel, maple syrup, and chocolate. Like it's, it's very fucking tasty. Uh, but it's not thick. Uh, I don't get like this, like necessarily get the syrupiness. I mean, there's a little bit there, but it is on uh, its thin. Um, it really does. Like okay, so uh, maple. It's mapley sweet. Uh, it's got chocolate notes. No barrel tannins to speak of. Like for like a, like usually you get that drying tannins when you when you drink something that's been wood aged for a while. Um, I don't get that here. It's, a, it's like masked by the maple syrup. Um, it really is, though. Like, go, given my experience with actually having the bourbon barrel aged maple syrup, it really reminds me of what pancakes tasted with, with that, you know, minus the butter. Um, uh, it's just, it's a little thin. I agree with Greg, where it, I feel oh. like this needs to be, uh, it needs something to make it more interesting. And the biggest thing, like you said it, uh, add hot peppers to this. That would be fucking insane if that was it, like if you had if you had like like uh, habanero peppers or something like that added to it or chipotle or something that would be fucking great. How about coffee? Like a, hot peppers. I don't know about coffee so much, but like hot peppers for damn sure. Like coffee would be good, but it, it's been it's it's been done. Um, uh, but yeah, like the alcohol is incredibly well masked. That's the biggest thing. I gotta say for this. Now, one thing I will say in defense of GLB is like this is the first time they pulled this from barrel. So it's a crapshoot what you're gonna get after waiting for six 14 months about how thick or thin beer is actually gonna come out to be. And yeah, it's a bit thin. It came in, it almost worked. Um, so but I mean I will say the beer is incredibly well made, the alcohol is incredibly well masked, but overall 
didn't necessarily work. Uh, like compared to other than barrel aged imperial stouts, I just feel like it's it's too thin. Uh, but I still think it's a damn fine, well made beer and fucking tasty. So um, overall, I'm going to give it for style. I'm going to give it a seven point five, which matches what everybody else said. And I wrote this down before everybody else said too. Oh, this will be hard to calculate next. Yeah, no. And uh, I didn't even have to pull up the calculator for this. Uh, and overall, uh, my my overall enjoyment is going to give it an eight. I, I think this is fantastic, like a 4.0 out of 5, definitely, but uh, it's a little thin. Following my That won't be too difficult to calculate either. No, it won't be. <laughs> nah, I've already got the scores. <laughs> You want me to do uh, comments before you relieve? Re yeah, sure. there's a lot of good comments. That's great. I'm gonna put 941. Wait, 941 basement. And by the way, uh, my wife tried it. She hates beer and she's like, ah, not bad. It's super smooth. Actually, I'm going to get Agnes to give me a quick review while you read the comments. So, uh, Basement said, uh, made me check my closet, Greg. Whew, my lamb is still here. Well, that's good. Lee Russell, what do you call llama that's racist? Alabama llama. Thanks, Lee Russell. Good. The Beer Patrol. Can you describe the pineapple allergy, Greg? Maybe go into great detail? There's nothing else going on because, you know, we're not drinking the beers or anything. Um, Christopher Frizzle. Hi, Chris. Christopher? Does it go by Chris or Christopher? Either way. I call him Christopher, but usually goes by Chris. Uh, hi, Chris. Cheers. Uh, who doesn't like pineapple orgy? Uh, uh, exactly. that kind of turned me off. <laughs> Lee Russell. Okay, what's next week's beer? Let's, uh, let's get this done. Ooh, we will review that is. in a second. We have lots of comments to go through. Uh, the Patrol. Uh, if you were on the panel tonight, Lee, the show would have never been over would, would never be over in record time. Let me read that again. The show would have been over. on the panel tonight, Lee. The show would never been over in record time. That doesn't make sense. Uh, Lady Lee says, "Chris, hey, heart, heart, heart." Is that tacos? No, that's um, celebratory party. 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 I don't like tacos. You ruined my dreams. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Christopher, Christopher said, "Hey, Lee." The patrol says, before I talk out my ass, says Greg, as a disclaimer, no need for the disclaimer, Greg, as the every time that you open your mouth, you talk out of your ass. Why is Joe not in every single show? We need his commentary to put everyone in their place, especially me. I need to be put in <laughs> uh, Mr. Lee says, Joe, you're right, you know. He is right. The patrol Magical fridge that ages only GLB IPAs and 10 better years to perfection. <laughs> Don't forget Bone Shaker. <laughs> La Russell says, uh, I'll make a deal. Uh, Lee can eat a pineapple in my presence for every time I slip up. And call I'll be her. eating a lot yeah, of fucking pineapple. Toots. <laughs> <laughs> Chick. Jesus. Babe. Uh, babe. Yeah. Babe. Lee Russell also adds, we put the baby add, in the just add <laughs> crushed up Oreo <laughs> cookies. The Patrol. Maybe some, some of nut, pecans, walnuts, maybe help out a bit. Hazelnut. Mm, hazelnut. Hazelnut. That would be a nice, interesting twist on that. Coconut. Coconut. Mm, I think I feel coconut, coconut would be coconut. I feel coconut would be heavy would be too like would be still make it thin. All right, settle down, Scott. <laughs> uh, Raider Vince Vincent says no. You cannot drink it near a fire. You'll be in the fire. Wow. Okay? Lee Russell, add cashews. Cashews would be all right too. Fuck. I think. Uh, I think. Um, what was it? The uh, walnuts? Walnuts, cashews. Yeah. Um, nuts. Coconut. Uh, the Beer Patrol coconut. That's such a horrible fruit. Lee, also, <laughs> almost as bad as pineapple. Yeah, I'm going with Joe on this one. I don't think coconut would do well in here. It needs to be a little bit more heavier. Blasphemy. 
Lee Russell, tell me about it, man. Tell me about it, tell me man. About it, man. Man. Uh, Nicole, agreeing with Greg is your first mistake, Scott. <laughs> yeah. He's right. Didn't hear that. <laughs> he's right, you know. Cue, cue the Ashley Sexton. <laughs> yeah, he's right, you know. Lee Russell, is Nick is getting double teamed by friendship. <laughs> <laughs> the Eiffel Tower of friendship. Oh. <laughs> High five in the middle, Scott. You get it from both ends. Uh, Lee Russell, Bob Victor, am I right? <laughs> the Patrol. Considering that eighteen, uh, that eleven point eight is a hidden so well, I'm sure that the post show will devolve into nonsense in record time. Can't wait. <laughs> Whoa, no, no, no. Womp, womp. Yeah. Um, Lee is adding extra points for drinking it out of the pineapple cup. Maybe I was 0 0.5 bump for the rating. <laughs> Maybe my drink was 7.5 and I bumped it up to 8 because of the pineapple yeah. cup. Right. The Jamie. Russell says, don't encourage such nonsense, Joe. Or Joe. <laughs> Teku Murray, hey, how's it going? Nick, what's next week's beer? For fuck's sakes, come on. Fuck you, Ewer. Hi, Ewer. Um, Vincent, also known as the Radar, pun, pun tub news. Fucking Radar. Um, <coughs> Teku Murray, hi, Joe, love you. Yes, we all love you. Radar, oh, fuck, what happened here? Awesome here. Hunting Dubs News. I think he's trying to say Brunswick with news or something. Yeah. We, got, we got nudes coming? Greg, nudes? Greg saying, what's happening to Bob McCurd? Yeah, what happened to Bob McCurd? Yeah, Bob McCurd uh, disappeared as soon as Teku Murray showed up. Oh. Mm. Talking. I wonder what um, happened there. The Beer Patrol, settle down, Muir. Nick needs to take the next 10 minutes to repeat what everyone else said. Let him ramble, baby. <laughs> Let him ramble, baby. Okay, fuck you, Let him ramble, <laughs> baby. Uh, you're Nick. What are you at? Nick, are you at Buffalo Wild Wings? We don't even have Buffalo Wild Wings out here. Don't, yeah, exactly. I wish we had a Buffalo Wild. Yeah, Wings. that'd be pretty good. Uh, Teku Murray, Nar beer reviews. Near beer sure. reviews. You were also saying Nick is reading off a teleprompter. Can see the yep. reflection in the TV <laughs> behind the bar. Fuck you, you're... Nick totally reads off a teleprompter. Holy Nick's kinda, Nick kind of Nick is talking kind of quick. He really needs to watch that game. Uh, it started. Uh, <clears throat> Lady Lee, ha ha ha, Chris. My drinks are are booze and splash a mix. My drinks yeah. are booze. So and we used. To... A mix. Yeah, so we used yeah. to hang out back in the day, and I used to make drinks, and my drinks were awful because it was mostly alcohol. So I was like, oh, here, I'll make you a drink. And every time I made someone a drink, they're like, are you trying to get me fucked up? Those yeah. are the best drinks. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and lately, they've been coming out. <laughs> so, you know, booze and just a splash of mix, right? Ha! Yeah. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> uh, Radar says Vegas and four. Yeah, right. Radar. Radar. Fuck you. Fuck you, Radar. Uh, Lee Russell, Lee doesn't know that mixed drinks require some mix. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Warm down for me. No, it's just straight up vodka. With some mix. There's a splash. Um, Stuart <laughs> is asking that, are you supposed to read the comments out loud? Yes. You can skip well. my next comment because I didn't realize I wrote it twice. Okay. Uh, Christopher Frizzle. Hi, Christopher again. Depends if I'm in trouble or not, but either Chris or Christopher. All right. Uh. All right. Um, were Jesus, Christmas is fuzz illiterate? Yes, I am. <laughs> if you want to make fun of uh, of someone with uh, a little bit of um, dyslexia, yeah, dyslexia. dyslexia, you've you successfully done it. Ewart, congratulations. Way to be fucking sensitive, you were. Can you maybe give me a list of what else I can make fun of you for? <laughs> me or you? <laughs> no, oh shit! Can't make fun of Fuzz's grammar. I, I want, I want the Fuzz list. Oh, okay. Can't make fun right. of Fuzz's grammar. Yeah, that would be insensitive. Wow, that you that would make, be hurtful, quite frankly. You can make you can make fun of my anti-spelling and anti-grammar. It's funny. I even took courses too, and and it improved it vastly from what it used to be. Wow. 
Yeah. You're almost you're almost up to Nick levels. Maybe. Of Ramble. So I went into IT because I could I could uh spell check. Yeah, yeah automatic spell check. There you go. Um, Teco Murray, Lee Russell, Lee Russell, Le 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 Russell. Russell. Le Russell, Le Russell, uh, yeah. Uh, basement. En français. Uh, there better be a YouTube hangout tonight, or I'm leaving the. Are you gonna out. rage quit there, Jamie? Rage, rage quit the chat. Jesus fuck. <laughs> um, Radar says no pair brewing, pair brew news, uh, brew news, uh, brew news. Yeah, probably. Oh, PA Brew News. Oh, J Paul. Uh, you were, yeah, I found dyslexic. <laughs> Way to be insensitive, you were. It's all right, you were. I still love you. <laughs> love you. That, that's stretching it a little. Um, Western Canadian reviewer. Hey, Hi, how's Dan. Dan? Dan? Uh, piss off a fuzz. Way to go, you It's hard to piss me off. <laughs> But, you know. It's hard. Yeah, I've done it, but, I mean, it's hard. Yeah, and usually if it's a case, it, like, it, I know it, you it, it's taking me, like, almost three decades. Yeah, and usually if you piss me off, I just leave. I just walk away. Wow. So, so you do rage quit. I don't, I, don't, I don't usually rage quit. I quietly quit. Anyway, quietly quit. Quietly quit. I just disappear. You just sort of That's randomly that. disappear, like, in the middle of the night, so, like, on a, on a, like a, on a Thursday, just leave chat. Yep. <laughs> uh, Nick, Nick woke up thinking he'd be cuddled and he was all alone. Yep. Um, the, you know, a warm spot where I used to be. Uh, basement says, Fuzz has chat. Fuzz has chat the left. Whoa. Wow, funny. Funny. Chris <laughs> Lee Zach. Uh, if, if Chris Lezak ever gets on here, let him read. Then you'll see what is what illiteracy oh. is. Wow. wow, this is just wow. beautiful, <laughs> my God. Uh, the patrol was this was the best red beardless BA one hundred and one I've ever oh, been involved with. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Joe. Holy fuck! Oh, wow. <laughs> The comments keep coming, baby. It keeps coming. You read them so slow that the comments keep coming. Sure. Um, Dan, uh, Dan's the man with a big banana. I've heard that too many times. Yeah, all right. Okay, stop commenting. All right. end this. I mean, quit. And Lee Russell again. Cease. Hey, Nick. Nothing shall pass. The question was asked, Nick. All what? right. Well, first of all, we need to share. We haven't even oh. done this yet, so we got to just like show. I don't know why it's flickering like that. Is it flickering for you guys? Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah Nick, that is, that's you, a little uh, weird. Nick, why don't you put in a ticket? Whoa. Uh, I have to put in a ticket like here. Let's see if I don't get give anybody epilepsy. There you go. I don't know what StreamYard was doing there. All right. So, you know what? We could have predicted this, well. but we, we, we heard all the comments. But 7.5 for style. That was unanimous. 8.25 overall, which is kind of split down the middle because <laughs> – Two people gave it eight five. Two people gave it eight. That that really kind of narrows things down. I didn't even have to pull out a calculator. So there you go. Stop sharing. All right. So what is next week's beer? And I'm actually going to bring it over to Greg. We're going to use do the most in common bond Ewart barrel aged, uh, JP Weiser's barrel aged hop. Like literally, it's the hops in that beer were barrel aged, not the beer. The hops were barrel aged. Hopping good time. It's a now, hopping good, we're gonna have a hopping good time next week. Now, even though we're gonna do this, we're doing this next week for science. I encourage everyone out there not to buy this because every time you buy this, this goes into Ewart's pocket. This is paying for Ewart. We're, we're literally think, supporting Ewart. I, I, I think Manly did the math earlier, and I think Ewart is something like eighteen Draculas, thirteen Hitlers, uh, <laughs> and, and like twelve Frankenstein monsters. So, like. Uh, Plus, it's probably well, like that a, Ewart is that Kerry he was talking about? Like he's worse than Hitler or some shit. No, no but I think I think Ewart's even worse. So I mean, uh, okay. you, know, well, you know what that makes sense. So don't do not buy this product. Even if we give this a ten out of ten, don't buy it because you're supporting a terrible cause. But that, that that's it is what it is. Why don't buy it? Why we have to buy it? No, no, we have to buy it because we're doing it for science. But we're like, you know, <laughs> we're, we're we're like FBI agents. For science. Like, like, just imagine we're the FBI agents that have to look at Subway Jared's 
internet history because we have to build a case against them. But we, don't, <laughs> but we don't recommend you go to the same websites as Jared went to. That's what we're saying. Jesus Christ, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, what's yeah. the what's the uh, what was the uh, the Duggar? What was his name? Josh. Josh Duggar or Josh Duggar. You ever see uh, 19, kids. 19 Kids and Counting? Yes. Oh, yeah, the okay. older, the oldest kid, Josh. Mm -hmm. You go look up, go look up Josh Duggar's history. No, thank you. Yeah, I no, know. not good. <laughs> it's not good. Nope. 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 A lot of nope. <laughs> Anyway. Frankly, I don't want to look at my own porn history, and it's all legal, but I, I'm still not proud of it. <laughs> you say that, but how come we don't believe that? Do you believe I'm not proud of it, or do you believe it's not legal? Yes. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> all right. All right, so uh, I think on that note, we're ready, about ready to quit this chat right here now that we've been Yeah, we're not reading the rest of your minutes. comments, guys. No. Oh, okay. Reading. Well, yeah, we'll read. Not reading them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Joe. Uh, Flickery scoreboard flickered fun. Yet he's trying. God damn it! Yes, Ewart. Barely his tops. Of course, Ewart's behind this beer. Fuck's sakes! I leave nothing. Say nothing to do with this. Yeah, sure. Uh, you're the three Cthulhu's in a king size Jack the Ripper. I was gonna say he's like sixteen Tiger Kings in a in a in a in a in a, in a Oklahoma bottle. Anyway, uh, sir, it's excellent. The fuck, but I want to put my Ewart in my Ewart's pocket. <laughs> yeah, I love you, but there's no way I believe you. That's like saying you drink beer from breweries. Another name, not named Third Moon. <laughs> now, I did I did support Ewart and his college fund. This used to be full. Mm. People anymore. support and, my college fund. And you, and you drain for it. <laughs> your college fund is when you open your OnlyFans. I'll support that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's let's finish this off and say, like, I want to thank everybody for watching. We had 10 viewers, maybe more that uh, at one point. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to thank uh, Lee, Jamie, uh, Popo Jojo, uh, Bob McCurd, whoever the fuck you are. Oh, no, Bob McCurd. I know it's, it's you. So, and, of course, Average Joe. Thanks for popping <laughs> in the chat. Christopher. Uh, Christopher, whatever your last name was, Frizzle. Frizzle. Uh, lady was there. I, 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 who else? Did, Radar was in the chat too. Cheers, Radar. And I know a few of my friends are watching that, right now that, that didn't answer much... or talk. So, hi, yeah. you guys. And Greg, thank you very much, much for the up. beer. I quite enjoyed it. I think it pretty much sums up the, the number of yeah, people thanks, in the Greg. chat. So, um, yeah. We'll be here next week. We're doing the common bun from Molson. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll chat with you folks later. Penis, vagina, 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 butthole.